It was such a lovely day, I was sweating like a pig. But overall, it was such a great experience at Fortnum & Mason. Fortnum & Mason is such a great place to shop for perfume. You could go for afternoon tea there. There's Fortnum & Mason afternoon tea, diamond jubilee tea salon. Fortnum & Mason provided the most enjoyable taste experience for their afternoon tea. Fortnum & Mason's award-winning afternoon tea has been an essential part of Piccadilly visits for Fortnum's visitors, new and old alike, for centuries. Served in a signature Fortnum style in the elegant and refined surroundings of the Diamond Jubilee Tea Salon, every scone, cake and sandwich is fresh baked by Fortnum's chefs. A truly iconic and very British experience from first sip to final crumb. You can also visit the parlor on the first floor of Fortnum & Mason, one of London's oldest department stores. It's a fun and funky place to indulge your sweet tooth, whether you are young or old. Designed by David Collins Studio in the style of a 1950s ice cream parlor, it is delightful with its decor of candy, pink and white stripes. Just before you look at your perfume, is such a great place to visit. At Fortnum & Mason's Fragrance & Beauty Hall, you could discover an extensive selection of fragrances, cologne, aftershave and perfume for her and him. Their fragrance collection is home to unrivaled scents crafted by the world's top perfumers. From recognisable names such as Penhaligons, Jo Malone and Creed, as well as many available exclusively at Fortnum's. Today I was given the opportunity to talk to a Clive Christian perfume expert about the top 5 Clive Christian perfumes and obviously it was her own personal top 5 so here we go. She was a bit shy to have her voice recorded and her video taken so I just jotted down her top 5 and I will give you a simple and quick explanation. Clive Christian is a luxury British perfume house that creates the world's finest perfumes. So today we will discover no the Noble Collection, Original Collection and more. And did you know that Queen Victoria herself granted the use of the image of her crown on the perfume bottles? So that's why you see the crown shapes on the top of every Clive Christian bottles. Interesting. First on the list is Sea Woody Leather in the private collection of Clive Christian. This perfume is a deep woody warm perfume that imparts a signature seductive smokiness on the skin through a fusion of saffron and tobacco. Mandarin lends an immediate freshness giving a pleasing balance, a vision for the wearer. The next perfume is X Feminine from the original collection. Nature's Aphrodisiacs presented in a perfumed kiss create a signature seductive perfume. The heady passion of Mark Anthony and Cleopatra is embodied in this perfume thanks to its abundance of Egyptian jasmine. Mystique is woven into this floral chypre, a flirtatious top of peach and rhubarb melt into luscious tuberose with a touch of sweet rum. A perfumed love story spun from the hues of cashmere, musk and jasmine. The next perfume is 1872 Feminine from the original collection. So it's a brilliant bouquet of rose demai, orchid and jasmine combines with fresh citrus notes from bergamot and lemon. A base of patchouli, musk and sandalwood give a familiar and poised finish to this bright citrus floral perfume. The emerald green colour of the bottle reflects the original bottles of the Crown Perfumery Company, the perfect tribute for a perfume that pays tribute to the year the Crown was granted by Queen Victoria to adorn every bottle. The next perfume is Matsukita from the Crown Collection. This woody shepherd captures this mystical grace in a style for the modern day connoisseur. 
green bergamot meat, sparkling pink pepper and spicy nutmeg for a fresh and invigorating top laced with the floral and smoky notes from Chinese imperial jasmine and mate tea. Hints of jasmine sambac and guayac oil complement woody tones whilst richer amber, fir balsam, absolute and whispering musks form a sensual and warm base, a mysterious and complex fragrance. And finally, the last fragrance is Art Deco Blonde Amber from the Noble Collection. It's a warm amber spiced with aromatic and smoky blonde tobacco which tells the story of Art Deco decadence. A riot of flourishing florals and dried fruits join the meaty of fine ingredients creating an indulgent blend. Thank you so much for watching. This was Jay from London and this was Chelsea Scents. Make sure you visit Fortnum & Mason's Perfume and Beauty Hall for your fragrances and make sure you don't miss out on the afternoon tea. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye.